RCMP and Campbell River are looking into a disturbing case of animal cruelty. A house cat shot at close range by a pellet gun. It has left the cat badly injured and partially paralyzed, and it has left the pet's owners badly shaken. They're also facing huge bills from the veterinarian, and they are still worried that the attacker is at large. A News reporter Gord Kerbis has their story. Good boy. With two large dogs and two cats in the family, this Campbell River home is normally a full house. But one key member is now missing, Beaner, who's at the vet's recovering after being shot. He may not ever walk again. He will never use his tail it's in his way already. We're going to have to treat him like our little baby. Beaner's owners say at first they thought their cat had been hit by a car, but then the vet told them their two-year-old Russian Blue had a pellet lodged in his spine. It's, it's infuriating, to be honest with you, because... Uh, as soon as we found out that it changed from, oh, our cat got hit by a car to every emotion that you can even think about running through you, from anger and sadness, like, I was completely shaky and nauseous to my stomach, too. And the couple immediately notified neighbors so they could watch their pets, and they still have no idea who did this or why. Someone with this mentality to, to go and hurt an animal, you know, what's next? Is he going to go hurt someone else like a human or is he going to kill a dog? The person that did this needs help. The cat underwent surgery at the Dogwood Veterinary Clinic and has started to show some signs of recovery. It's likely the cat's tail will now have to be removed. You know, I've seen lots of injuries, including brain injuries from pellets and, and animals, you know, the, especially with the younger of the skulls and vertebrae is softer. So unfortunately not that rare of an occurrence? Uh, no, I, I'd have to say we see uh, gunshots in one form or another uh, every year. Along with the uncertainty of what they're going to have to do to help Beaner recover, they're also facing huge vet bills, made more difficult with the fact Kirster is out of work due to an accident last year. Just for the surgery alone was $1,700. And like I said, plus the 500 to initially get him in there and x-rayed and some painkillers and whatnot to, to get them through the night. While many would think spending money on a cat is needless, the couple say not helping Beaner isn't an option. He's the most chill cat that would go up to anybody, has the most love and affection to anybody that comes around. RCMP are still looking into the shooting and are asking for the public's assistance if they have any information. In Campbell River, Gord Kerbis, A News.